Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. Today we're talking about wrap and turn. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And wrap and turn. What on earth is that? Well, wrap and turn is all about creating short rows. And it means you're knitting halfway across or 10 stitches across or at some point across a row. Then you're turning your needles and you're knitting back. So you ignore the rest of that row. Now, the problem with that is sometimes if you do it, you can have a big gaping hole in the middle of your row because you've gone so far and then gone back. And that stitch, the stitches that are still sitting in there on the needle are kind of separated. So we have this little trick called wrap and turn. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in the demo. Now, do hang around till the end. I'm going to let you know how you can find all of my demonstration videos all in one place. So stick around for that. Here's the demo right now, wrap and turn. So we are going to knit across this row just a little way. And when you wrap and turn, it's um, called in a longer hand way, we are doing short rows. So I'm knitting across there and then I'm gonna knit backwards. So I haven't done the full row. I'm gonna knit half a row or a short row. So I have knitted all of these stitches and now I need to wrap the next stitch and turn the needles. So we wrap by doing this. We move the next stitch onto the left hand needle, but we don't knit it as if we were about to purl it. So just put the needle in there, move that yarn around the needle, and then pull that stitch back onto the left hand needle. There you go. So you can just see that's, that's the wrapping part. That piece of thread that we're knitting with has just been wrapped around the next stitch. We then turn the needles and we carry on along this row as if we've gone all the way along and all the way back again, but we haven't. We have wrapped and now we are turning. Now I'm going to go all the way along this row and I will show you how you approach that um, stitch that you've wrapped and turned when you come across it again on the next row. So let me just go all the way along here. You're going to notice, oh, there's a bit of a bump there. It feels like there's more knitting. Well, there is because you've already done one row and two rows more than you have on this side. So you've got more knitting here, more fabric than you have on this side. So I'm going to go all the way along here and then I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do because when you wrap and turn you can actually end up with a hole because the stitches don't seem quite even. Um, there's a little hole there, it feels a bit awkward but what you do, this is the stitch that we wrapped. So take a look at that stitch. You have the stitch hanging on the needle but you also have the wrap there. So what we're going to do is knit into the wrap and into the stitch as if we're doing a knit two together almost, but we're not. We're just taking hold of that stitch and we're including the wrap in it. So let's do that. I'm just going to pull that yarn through just like any other knit stitch, but it has to pull through the wrap as well. Let go of that stitch on the needle and then you can see that it is so much neater. Sometimes when you do a wrap and turn and you don't consider what the wrap is going to do, you can actually end up with a bit of a gape in between the stitches. See, there you can see that there's probably a bit more fabric on that side, but it doesn't notice that something happened in the middle here. And you can't see that wrap still sitting around the stitch. That can be very noticeable sometimes if you're doing a wrap and turn. So knit the wrap as well as the stitch and you're good to go. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you like that because that's a great tip. I learned that from a book I think and it's been really helpful. Um, and yeah, great. We can now wrap and turn. Wasn't that great? It is a brilliant way that I learned only a few years ago because I've been doing it so many other ways. And this just gave that extra step to say, 
it's closed. That section of stitches are quite happily sitting together. There are no gaps, there are no holes. It doesn't look ugly or um, mismatched. It's more than happy to sit there. And wrap and turn is so useful when you're shaping. Even in jumpers, sometimes you want just a fancy bit on a collar, um, and that's especially good for shaping collars. Um, it could even be used when you're shaping a hat. Um, if you're shaping shawls, you see that a lot. If you want a nice um, billowy fringe around the edge, then short rows are used a lot. We need that. We do need these little tips and these little tricks um, to set up along our knitting experience so that we can use them again and again and again. Now, if you want to make sure that you can remember how to do this, then click the link in the description below. I have a download ready and waiting for you. Yes, this week is the last week, so if you click on the link, you should get through and be able to join my email list to Yes, you'll get um, the weekly video coming through to you, but you'll also get this PDF download with all of the links you will need to all of the jargon videos. And the beauty of that is that they're all in one place. You haven't got to think, I don't know where to find that abbreviation. I don't know where to find the jargon um, explanation and the demo. I've got to go on you YouTube and Google and try and find the right one that works the way I want it to because it's all there on one document and you just click on the individual links and it will send you straight to my blog or my YouTube channel to let you know that that's how you do it and you don't have to worry about it. That's why I'm here. I'm helping you learn to knit the easy way. That was my mission when I sent up Knit with Hannah. It was get rid of all the fluff. We don't need to know five different ways to do one thing. If we need to do it, we need to do it one way and it works and it's great. And then if you stay on my list, you can bet your life I will do more jargon videos because it is one of those things about knitting that you have to know everything because it's bound to come up in a pattern at some point. So I will create more jargon videos as the months and the years go by. And all of those will be updated and I'll send you an updated PDF um, whenever I do those videos again. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me today. You now know wrap and turn. I will see you again soon, I hope. Do subscribe and click on the little notifications bell because I'm here every Tuesday, every week. Um, you don't want to miss, do you? Lots of videos coming up every Tuesday, every week in 2019 and beyond. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Bye.